let's learn a little bit about this dog medicine on this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. Henry Clay Glover was born in 1845. It looks like he had nine brothers and sisters, 10 kids altogether. His dad was 26 years older than his mom, and he was well into his 40s before he started having kids. He was also a sea captain. That's pretty cool. In this 1870 census, his dad is 74 and retired, but he had done pretty well for himself. His real estate is valued at $90,000 and his personal estate is at $100,000 in 1870. He has six white female servants living in his household. Henry is 22 and hasn't gotten a job yet. He's probably still in college. Henry Glover, I'm not sure why he went by H. Clay instead of just Henry, but he became a veterinary surgeon. I see mostly stuff about dogs, but a few things here and there about horses. But I think he mainly stuck with dogs. In 1897, he published a book called Diseases of the Dog and How to Feed. In it, he stated he was a 20-year veterinarian, so this puts him in business somewhere around 1877. I was actually able to find this free Google book if you want to read it, it's in the description. It addresses everything from mange to worms, epilepsy, digestive issues, and fleas. His office moved around New York several times, but the address on this booklet is 1278 Broadway in New York, which is somewhere around here. I have a feeling it looked nothing like this in 1897. <laughs> Here's a city directory from 1884 that says he's into medicines, and in 1889 it lists him as a veterinary surgeon. In 1897, still a vet surgeon. Skipping to 1911, and in 1915 he's listed as a vet surgeon. He's even listed in 1927 under vet surgeons. So you can imagine my surprise when I saw that he actually died in 1914. I was so sure that I had the wrong guy. I worked for a while to try to find the right guy, but it was the right guy. He did die in 1914. I found his will written in 1913 and he mentions his dog medicine business, Glover's Dog Remedies, as he calls it being bequeathed to his brother Andrew and two sisters, Adelaide and Clara. I just find it interesting that dead Henry is still being listed in the phone book as a vet surgeon. I mean, so your dog needs an operation, you find him in the phone book, you take your dog to this location, and then what happens? I found no evidence to suggest that his siblings became surgeons themselves, so... But I just thought of something. Maybe... Veterinary surgeons back then were just a term for a vet, a doctor, but maybe not actually cutting surgeons. The reason I say that is I was reading through a little bit of the dog disease book and he says this, it is usually the case when a person has a sick animal, gratuitous advice is freely offered, which is almost invariably bad and all coachmen assume to be veterinary surgeons. Maybe he's just using surgeon and doctor synonymously I don't know. So Henry's siblings did continue to sell his dog remedies. I think my particular bottle is an imperial mange medicine. See, it looks like this bottle. And according to the label, it could be used for human scalps or for dog's skin. The label has directions for both uses. He says in his dog disease book, quote, in several instances, I have known it to be transmitted from dogs to humans, though it is quite unusual. So I'm learning that there's different kinds of mange. One is parasites in the skin that damage the skin and hair follicles. Others are just irritations on the skin. One testimonial in the book states that it worked well on his daughter's eczema. It's one of the more common Glover bottles, so he must have sold tons of this. He had a whole line of imperial medicines, many of which could be used for human uses. He has a decent amount of advertising. Some of these are clearly after Henry died, so someone was talented in the marketing department and kept sales going for quite a while. There are many products in the product line for puppies, 
there was an imperial soap for the scalp, and obviously dog remedies. They kept releasing editions of the Dog Diseases book, and this one's from 1924. I'm not sure how long the company stays in the family, but Glover's products are still sold today. It's sold as human dandruff remedy. It's being manufactured by Jay Strickland, and they have a line of Glover's products on their website. I found a New Jersey newspaper article from 1974 with the title Glover's Dog Mange Cure Booms as Dandruff Remover. Unfortunately, I can't read the article, so I can't get a status on who's running things at this point, but I found it cool. Maybe it's about this time that they decided to go exclusively to human products. As a general rule, if a bottle has a single digit code on an Owens mark, it usually indicates the 1930s. But if a single digit code is followed by a period, the chances are very good that the bottle dates from the 1940s, especially between 1940 and 1947. However, there are some exceptions to this rule. Now my bottle has a four with a period, so we're gonna say that this one dates from around 1944. It's machine made and it has this little narrow opening to limit the flow. Well, it looks like Henry did some really good things in the world of dog medicines, and I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.